Welcome back to Mindful of Tech. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this nice bluey beigey box, kindly donated to the channel by Chris T from work. Thank you very much, Chris. This box might actually become my new Windows 98 machine. In this video, though, we're just going to be getting it clean with some gentle brushing and some mindful hoovering. So we can see the uh, the case is a little bit rusty in places. Um, hopefully we should be able to fix that with a little bit of vinegar and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, some hardcore cleaning. Subscribe for a full restoration and rumination video on this case coming soon. Let's get the worst of the dust off for now. So let's uh, get this thing open and see what kind of hardware we've got in here. Something fun. Just the one screw. Thanks, Chris. Soft old case, though. And we're in. Hmm. This doesn't look like Windows 98. It's dusty, but this is red PCB under here. Pretty sure this is an XP era machine. AMD. Decent looking machine, really. Very excited to see what we've got in here. This might actually end up being a Windows XP build rather than a Windows 98 update. So that's pretty cool. Corsair Value Select RAM. Lovely. Stitch two. Ooh. Corsair Value Select again. Get this dust off. Oh. So there we are. We've got two gigs, two one gig sticks. Corsair value select. That's DDR1, DDR0G. Get these cables out. Gross cables. <laughs> Be putting some new ones in there, I think, and uh, maybe give these ones a clean. Power to come out of all these devices. And let's take a look at the GPU. Oh, it's ATI. That's red PCB again. Get this dust off. I think actually this might be a 9800. I think we've got everything disconnected now. Let's see whether or not we can get this motherboard out. Oh, there we go. MSI board. Dusty, of course. AMD CPU, well, I assume. Get these hard drives out. Classic. Hitachi Death Star. 30 gig. We'll make sure that hard drive gets securely erased, as will all the other drives in here. So many screws. And I think I'm going to have to take the other panel off to get the screws out on the other side. Okay, should be able to get my floppy out now. What's those hard drives in there? Yeah, it'll all be securely erased. We'll get those wiped off, we'll probably reuse them in something at some point. So uh, let's lay it down and see if we can finally get that floppy out because it's a tough one. There we go. 
just generic floppy drive. Dusty floppy drive. And a cage, free cage. Get this CD-ROM out here as well. DVD-ROM, Sony DVD-ROM. If it works, it'll probably go in the Windows 98 machine. Let's get this PSU out of here. Fair amount of rust on it. It's a PSU. Generi PSU 5000. Oh, no. It's a QTEC. 350 watt max. Pentium 4. Pretty sure uh, it'll work with our AMD chip, though. We'll give that a test. Probably put a new one in here, to be honest. Let's get this fan out of here. It's gross. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. It's magic, you know. One panel. Oh, nice. It's pretty good. Beige. Fancy. Oops. So, yeah, we'll put the uh, Windows 98 panel in here. Get those yellow LEDs behind it so it more matches the aged plastic of the case. That'll look pretty nice. I think the splash of blue will really add to the effect. fiddly bits with this case, I mean, as, as there was with all the 90s front panels. But this bit's weird. You feel like you've definitely broken it, but you seem to have to just lever it out. And then just do the old 90s case clunk. So yeah, panel up here or probably lower down two cd-rom drives at the uh, don't find yet yeah so lower down probably there and the two cd-rom drives will oh, never mind let's get this cpu out of here it's the horrible scary amd mount well they're not too bad on this one. Oh, whole chips come out looks okay though don't think we've got any bent legs nice and shiny no pins missing so this looks like thermal adhesive to me. That's not normal thermal compound. Hmm. We'll look at that in a bit. This motherboard needs some feather cleaning. It's pretty decent though. It's, you know, red, so it must be fast, right? Yeah, this is definitely thermally bonded on here. Try levering it off. Nope. <laughs> Can't even lever it off. I think I will lever this alone for now. So let's, let's lay it all out. Have a look at what we've got. Oh, Corsair value select 2 gigabytes of DDR 400 megahertz. Oh, Radeon 9800 Pro GPU. Screws. Lots and lots of screws. Seriously, lots of screws. Thanks for all the screws, Chris. Oh, 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 it's magic. An excellent fan. Our oh, floppy. Finally got it out. Oh, free cage. So our CD-ROM, so DVD-ROM drive, courtesy of Sony, and a rather large collection of hard drives. The ever-present isopropyl alcohol, of course. More screws. And finally, the guy I couldn't do it all without, Mr. Screwdriver. So yeah, let's take a look at these. This 9800 Pro, um, it's 128 meg model. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool find. 
pretty sure this is my first GPU that I ever owned, like proper GPU that I knew what it was and everything and wanted it. Um, but I think I had the 256 model. I feel like it had a bigger cooler on it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really awesome. Um, I'm a Magic fan. No? Uh, we, of course, have our MSI motherboard. The K8MM3-V. I'm pretty sure I had like this one or one very similar to it at one point. Um, it's going to be a K8 CPU, this mystery CPU we have here. Maybe the numbers on the bottom are enough to identify it. If you think you know what it is, uh, chuck a comment down below. It's going to be a K8 of some sort, so could be a Semperon, hopefully an Athlon 64. Um, stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of this when we make a video testing this stuff. Drop us a like and subscribe if you want to see that. And until next time, be well.